In this video, we show the complete installation procedure of OpenKM in Linux. In OpenKM.com, we access to the download section. We did have previously installed at least the Java JDK 1.8. If we access to the OpenKM Knowledge Center, the OpenKM documentation, we will find information to install Java according to the operation system. In this case, it is a Linux mine, similar to a Debian or Ubuntu. Here we find the commands that we have to use to install Java. Every operation made in the installer must be done by a user with administrator privilege. We continue with the Java installation process. Once the Java is installed, we check that it has been properly installed. Next, we come back to the download section of OpenKN.com. We download the installer. Once the installer is downloaded, we move it to the folder where we want to do the installation. In this case, home slash OpenKM. We come back to the terminal and we run the installation. We insert the MySQL database, is the recommended, among others. The installer will launch the download process of the necessary packages to perform the installation automatically. The download process depends on the connectivity on the download server assigned by SourceForge to download these files. First, it downloads the downcat. Next, the OpenKM. And after the installer proceed to download all packages needed to use OpenKM with all features configured. Once the installation process is completed, the terminal mark that we have to create the database. In this case, we will install MariaDB. We save the SQL commands and we will start to install the database server. We set the password for the root user for the database. Once installed, we proceed to configure this database 
for the document management system. We copy the SQL commands. We run them. And we can check that it has created the OKMDB database. Here we can see that we have the Tomcat EIFEN 7.0.61 and if we analyze the script of the services, we check that we have to a script called Tomcat. It means that we have the application configured yet as a service. We will go to launch the application for the first time. The application is starting. It is working now and we can log in the user interface from the browser. We access with the user OKN admin and admin as password and the installation process is finished.